What up everybody, welcome back to another video. I go by the Lost Entrepreneur. If you know what I do on this channel, I work on t-shirts, creating my own t-shirt business from the ground up. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, you like unboxings, you like all types of different stuff, drop a like, subscribe if you want. If not, let's just keep going with the video. But on this week's video, as you've seen on this title, we gonna be, you know, old sublimation boy over there epson 2720 we're gonna go ahead and review this epson 2720 after using it for about a year a little bit more than a year because i kind of lost track of it but it's about a year review and right after this intro we're gonna check it out i'm gonna go ahead and get medicated That way we can finish this video. All right, y'all, check it out. Going back on my computer right here. Now, when you get this printer, Epson 2720, this thing right here, basically, it's gonna come in a box, big old box. Uh, I have an unboxing on my channel you can watch, and it comes with an ink that you don't use. Do not use the ink that comes with it because you are you're gonna buy your preferred sublimation ink. And there are other YouTube videos online. Cosmo Ink, if you go with his ink, he literally has a whole uh, YouTube like video collage of all videos of how to convert and it walks you step by step in the most detailed way that I don't even want to remake a video because I'm gonna just direct everybody to that because that's what I learned or how I learned to convert this printer to a sublimation printer because this is just an inkjet printer and I converted it. I don't even remember how to open these. There they go. But I haven't put ink in a long time comes with all the different ink and the question everybody has if you let it sit will it leak yes I have let it sit for a good week or so and didn't print one thing and it hasn't leaked but this is a Bluetooth printer which is why I originally got it because I didn't want to have to deal with the wires and all that usually I'm uh, usually I'm around like walking around and stuff but you know all right now that i got this plugged in whoop my bad i kicked the hit the little tripod thing we're gonna go ahead and turn this on Bring you guys in closer right here so you can kind of see that little screen. Let me go ahead and close the tripod legs real quick. See so y'all check that out. Basically you go right here. Scan through the options. And then go from there. Shoots paper. Come right there. When you are first setting this up, it's going to have a little booklet on how to set it up. I know you have to use these buttons over here. I am not going to go through a whole setup. 
of how to do this. Like I said, Cosmos Inc. has a whole way to do it. And that is honestly the easiest way. My bad, let's get back on track. heated up we can go ahead I preheated that so that way that way I ain't gotta worry about it you know what I'm saying because it takes forever to heat up honestly all right y'all now back to this printer had this for about a year I'm gonna go ahead and print something right now if you guys want to know where you print from uh I don't know too many places. I just use Photoshop. I think you have to use a place like that, like Photoshop or Infinity or something like that to print that has the highest quality. And this is something I'm working on for one of my friends. We're gonna go ahead and just hide all that. Shout out Lid Life though. All right, I got y'all back now. Check it out. This is my stay fly design. We're gonna go ahead and make it a little smaller just to fit on this. This reason I use Photoshop first off is because, uh, first off, let me tell me what laptop I have. Because it also works on the printers and stuff. I have a Asus Tef gaming laptop. So eight gigabytes of RAM and got it got a decent amount of memory in there enough to hold a lot of stuff but basically the ram is the most important part so when you're doing this type of stuff you want to have the ram that's able to process all these programs that you're using as far as your t-shirt program you're going to be having this program open once you get your little business set up just make sure you have i call it the core you got to have the concrete of your business down and this is the little things I'm talking about your everyday phone your, your your laptop that you use your work your press your whatever you do or even if you just make transfers or whatever you do or just have the shirt sent to you just make sure you have whatever on deck that you're able to do it so let's check this out like I said the reason why I said Go to, uh, hold on, we gotta do something right here. So it could let me print. There we go. Reason I said follow, follow Cosmo Inc. I'm gonna drop his, matter of fact, I'm gonna drop the thing in the uh, description. All right. So I use Photoshop and once I have that little design on here, it doesn't have a background. Make sure there is no background. It is transparent. There's nothing behind there. And then from here is where you can go ahead and do what you got to do to the shirt. But you see how it's like that? And you need just a tad bit bigger design. We're gonna go ahead and rotate this. We're gonna go ahead and rotate it like that. So now all I did was go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise, no matter which way it goes when it prints, as long as it's long ways like that, and we're gonna go ahead and try this print one more time. All right. Yeah, you guys can see that. I just had to make sure you guys can see. So now I go over here. Now the image looks small. Now this is the actual size of the paper. So when you print it, that's what this bit, that's how big it's gonna be when you actually print this piece of paper. And I'm gonna tell you what paper I use. Alright. 
No, I'm just doing a little towel, so this should be good enough. No, we honestly gonna make it just a tad bit smaller. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all. I'm gonna just go ahead and press on this little polyester. Make sure you're pressing on polyester. We're gonna go ahead and double check. 100% polyester. Yes, sir. All right. I ain't gonna lie, this press, this press hot. This thing is heated. Shout out Cosmos Graphics. I ain't got a Teflon paper now because he said it is reusable or, or Teflon sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. But for now, we just using this that I picked up at Walmart real quick. It was like not even two bucks. This is how I remade those Baby Shark t-shirts. Just threw this on top and it was perfectly fine. All that ghostness you've seen went on top of here. It didn't even go on the shirt. But we're going to go ahead and get two sheets of this. One to put on the bottom, one to put on the top. All right. Now, when do not try and print this yourself when you first get it, unless you know how to mirror it, because it will just come out a regular way and then you will mess it up. I am telling you again, Cosmo Graphics, if you want to use the Epson 2720, I will drop the video in my uh, description or at least a way to find him or something like that to find this video or how to convert this and set it up and everything because it literally was a walkthrough and it was so easy. Shout out Cosmos Graphics. And by the way, inside here is Cosmos Inc. And I'm not even just... I don't even know the guy, I don't even like really follow the guy to hype him up, but I'm telling you his product is nice and I got to give a shout out when a product is nice. You feel me? All right, got this from Dollar Tree. Now, when you are following Cosmos graphics, I believe he does show you how to set this up to mirror it. So I'm going to leave that to him. All right. So from here, it says, uh, for some reason for mine, it says paper does not match your print settings. Confirm current settings. I usually just say, okay. It's going to say continue printing. That's going to say, okay. Now that's going ahead and printing right there. Now, let me show you guys the paper that I use. I use A sub sublimation paper. You could get it on Amazon or just Google it, whatever you guys prefer. I don't want to tell you go somewhere directly because I ain't trying to get no, get you guys coming at me for whatever reason. I'm just kidding. but. Uh, I haven't tried really any other paper because honestly this worked for me. Oh, just dropped it. But this right here, this is what I use. 8.5 by 11. I believe this printer goes 8.5 by I don't know. I don't even know, but this is the highest I go. I ain't even gonna try and cap, so. You guys can look that up yourselves. Like I said, Cosmos Graphics. Comes with papers, just like like regular papers. Got 
Got 105. Got a couple already in there. So for you guys that are worried about pressing on a different side, it does have the A sub writing on the side you do not put the paper on. So when you go to print it, you just put it in like that with this writing to the back and then it comes out like this. And you get your little design. Whatever you did. Or even your little photo. Whatever you want. Uh, there you go. So it done printed out. Can you guys see me? I know you can't see me right now, but I'm trying to say, yeah, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make room over here. Confined space. You guys who live in apartments, you already know what I'm talking about. But. That's what it is. That's what it will look like. Like I said, you can see the A sub paper. It is right there. Now, some people cut the edges. We are going to. I use just scissors because you see that little black ink right there. That'll be on your little whatever you be using. Your t-shirt. That's polyester. If you desire to make a bottle, that's polyester. Cup, that's polyester. But hey, while I'm cutting this, <coughs> let me go ahead and do this in a uh, camera view. Can you guys even see? There we go. But Cosmo Graphics just came back from the Philippines and that's crazy. I ain't even been out to, I've been to Puerto Rico, but I ain't never really been out the country like that. I don't consider Puerto Rico really going out the country because it's so close. But that's awesome. That's inspiring right there. Traveling like that. But I just go ahead and cut a little circle. Get close to that image. And basically just do it like that. We'll go ahead and turn on this trash can for video purposes. Usually I don't turn it on for the video because it just keep going and going and going every time I walk over it. But check it out. Just hit that little thing like that. And I seen over there in Cosmo Graphics, he's gonna start t-shirts as well. So if you're looking for another perspective, another man's uh view on a business, on what he does, on how he approaches things, and cause you don't like what I'm saying. Or you just want to hear somebody else. Support somebody else. I support them. Alright. Got my Asa paper ready. With my Cosmo ink into there. With my Dollar Tree. You heard me. I said it. Dollar Tree item. You ain't even got to be all Gucci with it. Go to Dollar Tree. Practice on stuff. Then if you think you like making towels, go online. Google it. Find you a nice little website that makes you polyester towels. Test out the fabric. Get your, get your business ID. Get your EIN.
start getting it at wholesale price. My bad, y'all. I'm trying to get the tape. I know you probably hear it in the microphone. All right. Now that we got that tape. But hey, get your business ID. Start getting that wholesale price. That's the smartest thing. I advise everybody at least try and uh, attempt to do something for themselves instead of working for somebody else. Try and do something for you. All right, we got that. Man, I done lost that polyester paper. Man, I done said polyester paper. I meant parchment paper. All right. So everything's already preheated. We got that right there. Go ahead, put it on top like that. You guys see that right there? All right, we're gonna go ahead. I got this for 60 seconds. I'm using a Tussie heat press. I got from Amazon as well. Cost me less than $200. Shout out Mike Teased. Shout out your dig lifestyles. And I just got me that Apple phone I'm recording on, so shout out Apple. We're gonna go ahead and press this for 60 seconds. Now coming back over here while that's going on. This. It has quiet mode, copy. You can even scan. It has Wi Fi set up. That's where you usually go to to do the set up your Wi Fi. Maintenance. Let's say it's jammed up or something. You could try maintenance. It'll shoot out something. Settings. And yeah. But go ahead and power it off because we're done using it. I do like this printer. I do not regret it not getting it it is a dope printer worth every dollar coming back over here because it's about to scream at us scream at us scream at us all right bam get the trash can ready parchment paper Oh, I dropped that too. All right, guys. Basically, that is our end product. It ain't too bad. As you can see, nothing wrong with it. Looks perfecto. Parchment paper from Dollar, uh, not Dollar Tree, from Walmart. It's Dollar Tree, gotta get it from Dollar Tree. My guy, just do what you gotta do. I'm just kidding. All right, but yeah, that's basically it. Cosmo Inc. Epson 2720. I love it. I have no complaints. This is after a whole year been printing. Every single print came out on clutch. Never had a hiccup. That's all I gotta say. No cap. Turn off this beast over here. This little hyena. And yeah, that's about it, my guys. But I'm gonna show you this. Go ahead and show up. most of the audience came out. Some of it's still on there, but that's all right. Till next week, guys. Peace out.